Na mtazamaji Rigathi Gashagwa ameandikisha historia kama naibu rais wa kwanza nchini kuondolewa ofisini. Amehudumu kama naibu rais kwa miaka miwili tu. Brenda Wanga anaangazia panda shuka za Gashagwa ambaye alikwea hadi unaibu rais baada ya kuhudumu kama mbunge wa madhira kwa muhula mmoja. To the best of my judgment I'm sorry, let's take it again. Alipokula kiapo cha kudhibitisha majukumu yake kama naibu rais miaka miwili iliyopita mbele ya hadhara katika uga wa Kasarani. Regadhi Gashagwa alionekana mwenye bashasha nyingi na uchu wa kuchukua majukumu ya naibu rais afisi ya pili yenye muhimu mkubwa zaidi nchini. Na ni kwa kasi hiyo hiyo iliyopanda nayo ngazi hadi katika ofisi ya naibu rais ambapo pia alifurushwa kutoka ofisini kupitia mchakato uliochukua wiki tatu pekee ulioanzia bungeni na kuelekezwa mahakamani. Gashagwa amevuliwa sio tu wadhifa wake wa naibu rais bali pia hadhi na vinono vilivyoandamana na wadhifa huo ambao sasa umetwaliwa na profesa Kindiki Kithure. But let me leave. Let me look after my children. You can do whatever you want with the country. Mgogoro kati ya rais na naibu wake ulionekana kuchacha kwa mpigo. Uliokuwa usuhuba wa karibu ulioonekana wakati wa kampeni za uchaguzi kugeuka uhasama kiasi cha kwamba hawangeweza kuonekana kwenye jukwaa moja. I was removed. My private secretary was removed. My uh, chief of staff was removed so we have no access uh, to the president's diary. Removed yeah. Uh, the private secretary to the president. Kashagwa ambaye alitegemea kura kutoka eneo la Mlima Kenya akisema alimsaidia Ruto kuchaguliwa rais na kuwapa kutetea kiti chake kwa vivyote vile na kuwafungia nje walioonekana kumpinga rais wakati wa uchaguzi. Hiyo ikulu nimeweka miteko kila kona, kila kona, kila pande, kila. Kila mahali nimeweka na niko na watu wa kunipigia simu. Wakionekana tu karibu naambiwa. Haya kuishia hapo. Katika azma yake ya kutetea urais na serikali ya Kenya kwanza, aliendeleza siasa za umiliki wa hisa serikalini. I want this region to deliver a decisive vote for President William Ruto in 2027 and to make sure that we increase our shareholding in his government. Ni kali hiyo iliyochochea kuondolewa kwake ofisini kwenye mabunge yote mawili Gashagwa au Rikiji alistuhumiwa kwa ufisadi kutoa mheshimu rais kuihujumu serikali na kuendeleza siasa za mgawanyiko na ukabila miongoni mwa tuhuma zingine If the deputy president had been quiet he would have carried many people in this house but he did not tame the tongue maji yalizidi unga katika mahusiano ya Ruto na Gashagwa kufuatia maandamano ya vijana mwezi Juni mwaka huu kizazi cha jenzi kikipinga mswada wa fedha wa mwaka 2024 Gashagwa akidaiwa kuhusika na maandamano hayo madai ambayo alikanusha na badala yake kulimbikizia lawama asasi za usalama na ujasusi so many kenyans will not have died property will not have been destroyed offices will not have been touched there would have been no mayhem but they slept on the job Kashagwa ambaye alijitaja kuwa msema kweli alihudumu kama mbunge wa Mathira kwa muhula mmoja kando na kuwa msaidizi wa rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta na DO kabla kufanikiwa kuteuliwa kuwa mgombea mwenza wa urais wa muungano wa Kenya kwanza akiwa na umri wa miaka 59 Regathi Gashagwa ambaye ana shahada ya sanaa na ya sayansi ya siasa sasa anasalia naib rais aliyehudumu kwa miaka miwili pekee Brenda Wanga Runinga ya Citizen